Well, hello, it's about talking. Drive on in. Okay, well, as you can tell, this is the garage. I was kind of going for a Chloe vibe, but I think I kind of look like Peg Bundy. I'm not really sure, but let's just go with it. So, as you can see, I like a fancy garage. I have a lot of chandeliers. There's wallpaper on the walls. This kind of sparkly, beautiful wallpaper. And what's crazy is, originally I had all these ideas for what I was gonna put on the walls, but once the wallpaper went up, it was so special, I thought, hmm, gotta rethink this. It's a little echoey in here, so sorry about that. Yeah, it's a big garage, I get it, but I drive, Terry drives, we have an extra car, and Max and Nikki are going to be driving soon. Ah, crazy, I can't believe it. Lots and lots of storage here. There's a sink over there for, you know, when we need to clean stuff up, especially art supplies. Lots of storage, everything in bins, from the kids' memorabilia to family photos, wedding paraphernalia. My God, I can't believe Terry and I are celebrating 20 years of marriage. I saved my bouquet. Who does that? Does everyone save their bouquet? It's like a dried, hideous mess. I don't know, it's in there though. This, a lot of this is um, Halloween, Passover. All of our holiday items we store and try to reuse as much as possible. Or sometimes we'll give them rest for a year and then bring them back out. Nice to have storage though. You can see some of these cabinets have locks on them. So the reason why they have locks on them is because I either don't want anyone to see it or I don't want the kids to get to something. One is sodas for the soda machine. One is our gift closet that I don't like them to see, especially if it's for them. And one is filled with all of our Consult Beauty Consult Health products because they think it's like a great idea to take huge handfuls of everything and give it to their friends. So, had to put the kibosh on that. Like I was saying, I didn't know what to put on the walls, so I decided to do a little Hall of Fame. I think you've noticed as we've gotten through the house that there aren't a ton of pictures of me or Terry or the kids, really only in private family areas. And I thought this was a good place to do it. Consult Beauty. Botched. Real Housewives. This was the first season I was on. Lisa Heil lent me this dress and those shoes, which were like a size too big for me, so I couldn't really walk in them. This was our second book together, The Dubrow Diet. In the early 2000s, I starred in a show called That's Life, a really cool show on CBS that I started with Debbie Mazar and Paul Sorvino, Ellen Burstyn, Kevin Dillon. Um, this was actually on a bus stop and when they pulled down the bus stops and the billboards and whatnot, someone rolled this up and gave it to me. And so we framed it and that's how I determined what size to make everything else. And I think it's so fun to be able to look back. Our first book that we wrote together, Dr. and Mrs. Guinea Pig. And of course, our podcast, Dr. and Mrs. Guinea Pig and Heather Dubrow's World. I think we need one for Heather's closet, don't we? Hmm. Better get on that. This is also something unique to our house, this thumbprint art, which is actually all of our thumbprints. I would make you guess, but if you know anything about me, you're gonna guess that they're in what order? Yes, age order, that is correct. Terry, Mom, Nikki, Max, Cat, Coco. Okay, but I'm putting a watermark because I don't want my identity or my thumbprint stolen. Because that's what you do at the DMV now, you gotta put your thumbprint down, don't steal it. Had this desk put in because this is where the kids do their messy projects. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about, slime. This is like a slime station all day. Nikki, I think, has been in this particular area maybe once in three years when he had to do a project for Spanish class. 
maybe he made a pinata, I'm not exactly sure, but there was a craft. And every once in a while, there was a random pumpkin carving event. But in general, this has been for the girls and mostly for Cat and Coco. Lots of fun games here. We have the big Connect Four. I have a punching bag. Ping pong. Ping pong is a big deal in our family. We like to have ping pong wars. I know you think it's crazy that this is all in the garage, but you know what's cool? We drive in from an event, everyone gets out of the car, we turn on music in here, and we play. A couple of people play ping pong, people go to the Connect Four, they pull out scooters, hula hoops, jump ropes, all kinds of things, and we end up just, you know, hanging out and messing around for 40 minutes. Because if you don't have that moment, everyone goes into the house and whoosh, it's like cockroaches. Everyone just like dashes. <laughs> this is our ballet bar. Why you ask? I don't know. I just always thought it'd be fun to have a ballet bar in the house. Um, and now a couple of the kids are dancing, which is great. And I started taking ballet, but I'm really bad at it and completely not flexible, but I really need to like come here and, oh, oh, very old. I need to like practice. See, not bad. You're a little impressed, no? Okay, the garage within the garage. So, this is where we keep all the ride-on toys, the sports equipment, the off-season things, the camp trunks, and all of their art supplies. This used to hang in our old house and I didn't have a place for it, so I put it in here. But I love it because I come in here to get something for them and it just reminds me of when they were little babies. Look at that. I always say, remember the good old days, Coco, when you couldn't talk? When I was growing up, we would have our parties in the basement of our house. It wasn't this, but it was cool and we loved it and we would turn the lights down low and you'd want to have a dance party, but what's a dance party without a disco ball? One of the most amazing features of this garage is that you can pull your car in and unload your groceries. So, where does it go? Hmm. Let's find out. Going up. I don't want you to miss any room in the house, so make sure you become a subscriber right now.